Hi Guy, I think this is the problem you had yesterday and I didn't get a chance to do it with you so today we're going to do it together. So Tim saw eight tapos at the pond. Then three of them got scared and swam away. How many tadpoles are there now? Okay, first we're going to go and underline important information that we need to solve this problem. So let me find, ah, I'm going to use this one. Tim saw eight. So the number eight is important to us, yes? Tadpole up the pond. Okay, then three of them. Three is important, but we also need keywords to let us know, is it going to be a plus problem or a minus problem? So we have to look for the keyword, okay? Then three of them got scared and swam away. <gasps> they swam away. Away. See this word, away? That's like giving it away. How many tadpoles are there now? So that word away gives me an idea that it is not going to be a plus problem, but it's going to be a minus problem. So now I can write my equation to solve it. So first I write 8, then I use the minus sign, 3 equals. Okay, from here I can solve it by using circles. Or my number line but let's first let's use circle then we can use our number line later so first I'm going to draw a one two three four five six seven eight uh, but we always check to make sure we only have eight circles because when we don't do that and we get the wrong amount of circle our answer would be wrong and that would not be good so it's always a good idea to double check your circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I do have eight. Okay. Now that minus sign tells me it means to take away. When we are taking away on the board, we can't erase. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to use cross out mark. How many am I crossing out? Three. One, two, three. Now that I cross out only three, then make sure you only cross out three. Because if you cross out any more or less, your answer is still wrong. So one, two, three. Yay. Now what do I do? Yes. Now I go and I count the ones that are left over. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five left over. There were eight tadpole, three swam away, and now there are five. Okay, and we can also use our number line. And we haven't been doing this a lot uh, before, but uh, now I'm going to show you. So that way you'll be ready when we get back to school to use. So I'm going to put the number line up here. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. Can you see it? Good, good. Okay. So first we find the number three. I mean the number eight. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the number eight. And then we're going to, since we're doing take away, take away is less. So we're going to go that way. Okay. So how many space are we going back? Three spaces. So one, two, three. I still arrive at the number five when I move back three spaces from eight. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Okay? Remember, since it's minus, we're going less. We're going that way. Because if you move forward three times, the answer would be wrong. We didn't say more. We say less. Right? Minus is always going to give you fewer. The answer is always fewer. Because it's minus, we go that way. Okay? So, good job. I hope this helped you uh, complete this problem. Uh, but there's one more thing that I want to do with this because most of these words are your power word. That's right. And that means you can read most of these words on this problem. And also, even if it was not your power word, you can read the word by looking for 
family words and the beginning sound. For example, this first word, okay? Okay, in this word, you cover the beginning sound and you sound out the I and the M. I and M makes M, T, and N, Tim. This one is one of your power word, saw. It's on your 2G list, okay? A. This way, we're going to break it off, and then we're going to look at this chunk right here. That family chunk is add, t, and add, tab. And then let's look at the word pull. Okay, we're going to cover that, and then we're going to look at this word, okay, this little chunk. You know that S makes a S, so you're going to cover that. When you cover that, you see the silent E, and if there's a silent E, that O makes the O sound, pulse, tap, pulse. See how you can solve words? And that's your power word, at. That's your power word, the. Now let's solve this word, okay? So first we cover the beginning sound, and then we sound out on, because that's your power word, the d, on, d, p, and on, d. Pond. See how you can solve words so easily? This is the word then, but you can also solve the word then, because TH makes th and then N. Then. Uh, you know that word. And same way, that's your power word then, but you can still solve it. TH makes th and M. Then. Right? Yes, good job. This is one of your power word got, but if you don't know it, you can solve it until you learn it. Cover the G, the G sound. You see the R, G, and A, got. Okay, this word is a little bit tricky. We do have an ending right here that we know. Uh, words that end with ED makes T or D, right? So, and we have a blend. Scared, scared. Okay, and that's your power, am, and then let's solve this word. S and W is a blend, sw, and am, swam. See how you can solve words so easy? Okay, ah, we. This is one of your power, how, power word, many, tapo, same word. Every time you solve a word, remember it so you can read the na next word. Ah, that's your power word. There, the word there, right? Because it has the word here, but th is f for there, right? Now. So, I want you to, uh, every time you solve a problem with a word, also go back and read and try to solve words. So that way you're doing two things at the same time, doing math and reading. The more you can do with your brain, the better you will be. See you next time.